Yo, what's up, guys? Gonna be playing some solo QTV2 games for today. Let's get straight into it. See if we can get some dubs. Let's see how it goes. All right, we got a sweaty game off the bat. We got Cam. He's always really, really solid in twos. We have Brock on our team, and the other player is Swift. So full, very, very sweaty lobby here. Good kickoff, good cheat. One of the most important things on kickoff for twos is definitely the cheat, how you choose to approach it. You could be super aggressive, you could be a little bit passive on it. Passive is better for when the kickoff goes like as it just did right there. Because you can't control how your teammates gonna take the kickoff, but you can't control how you react to it. Let him go for that. Nice. So because I didn't cheat too close there, I was still able to get back and actually get a 50 on what would have been just a straight up goal. So that's well played. Try to stop my teammate a little bit. He's stuck in the corner. Should be really good for him now. Nice. It's fine. Stay on this. I have 60 boost. I'm going to save my boost here. If I'm closer to now. Went for a quick like top corner shot. It was a good idea actually. I like I had no boost. And it was going to be a very explosive shot there. He's going to have one more touch. Finish out the follow, nice. Just gonna wait here. Hit it around him. Gonna follow again. Touch back. Take the back boost. Wait for swift touch. Team should go. You should just make him hit it away. It doesn't really matter what he does with it. I get a free ball. Until I jump, should I hit it around him? Really good save. He's under a lot of pressure there. Did a good job. He actually blocked the correct thing. Fake challenge. I'm not gonna actually go. Look where his line is taking him for the air dribble. It's taking him to the corner. There's no threat in that. Actually, no reason for me to challenge. It's a pretty hard shot. Okay. Wasn't sure if I was able to get around it. It's actually really difficult. So it's coming from the right of it, I have to get around it to the left and then get a shot fast enough that's going to beat the defense getting back. So actually much harder than it looked, but really well played for my teammate and good patience to play off of him. It's the big thing there. I'm trying slightly different camera settings. It feels a little weird, a little wiggly. I'm trying them. Got a bit of a tester these few games. I'm not going to fully commit here. So he has the first touch. I'm for it now. Touch to myself is pretty good. Nice. And I saved all my boosts on that. Okay, they left really early. I have no boosts, bruh. <laughs> That's fine. Alright, well. Oh. He actually just rage quit. It wasn't even a forfeit. He just tried to rage quit. Alright. Alright, well, good first game. Let's get to the next one. It's probably going to play two games more because that was a quick one. Let's see how quickly we find a game. That might change that as well, but let's uh, see how the next ones go. All right, very, very tough game here. We got Wiz and Cam, both very, very good players. We have Ashley Bashley, who actually, I'm not sure if this is the Ashley that I know of. That's pretty good in ones, but we'll find out. They do have high ping. Nice touch, wait middle here if he wants to use me, it's a good option. Pass back. Ooh, really good try. Round one. Teammate should have that. Pop off the back wall, they should follow. Should be good for us. It's a good shot. Create some pressure, they're both up now. I'll take this boost from them. Should it be in? Nice. It was really, really well played. Tough situation, but we actually did a good job to just look at where our opponents are, look at the chances they actually had of, of scoring that, take our time, save their boost, save their momentum. Some good speed to get the shot over them. It's a really, really tough matchup here. You guys might not be familiar with these players, but they're they're very, very, very good. Cam and Wiz are very high up, usually. On the leaderboard, so. 
Good recovery. Just gonna fake this. Can't beat him, but I can still force him to the corner, which is good. Might have a flip. Patience on that. That's a good demo. Try to keep my momentum and get back quick. Get around them. Ah, not a good attempt at a pinch there. I think it's a little bit too easy for him to block it. And slow boost, but I have some time. I'm gonna throw it away though to my teammate. There's one that was turning for a challenge, kind of forced me into a spot where I don't want to give up a goal for free there, so. It's a good challenge. Right behind my teammate. Seems like he's leaving it for me now. Yeah. Really awkward. I should have sat in there, it would have just been fine. So he went up the wall to force him, which was good, and then I got kind of baited in because of that. But if I had just sat in there, it would have been completely fine. Done what I was going to do. I was just hoping he'd shoot up challenge for me, but made it a little awkward because then I felt like, I, wow. Wow. What the heck? All right, I, I haven't seen something like that in this game and like, I really hope this isn't who I think it is though. I don't think it is, there's no way it is. There's no way they would say that. But I haven't seen something like that in like years actually in this game. But uh, yeah, I try to keep, I try to keep commentating. Oh God. I don't think we have any chance of winning this if it's someone that's willing to type something like that. But we'll see uh, where the rest of the game takes us, I guess. Try to still be a good teammate to him. Just gonna cut this off. Nice. Straight across. Not gonna be able to turn in time, that's fine. Try to cut. Nice. Go one more time here. Gonna have it first, so I'll just wait. That's good. Teammate should have this. Backflips, might be cool. All good. Good attempt. So that's what, kind of what I was talking about, about the cheat. Like if you don't cheat, cheating is the most important part of twos for sure. I think his kickoffs are very, very, very valuable. Like, he didn't cheat, and it's just an empty now, right? Because they did cheat and they cheated well. Kind of a good example I was talking about. I didn't know if I should upload this because this guy said that, but maybe it's a good thing to expose them? I don't know. Pass it middle. Okay. I almost missed it. It's alright. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of speechless, low-key. I've never seen anyone say that to me. Say anything even close to that. No one, no one said anything. <laughs> okay, this guy's just a troll. No one has said anything like that. All right, that's two goals. We didn't cheat, but it's all good. Uh, no one said anything like that uh, to any pros, I feel like. Like, no one that's not a pro says anything like that's a pros, because I feel like they just have too much respect, but... I mean, the fact that it's even a slur on top of it makes it worse, but like if you just call me like stupid or something, I don't care, but the slur makes it a hundred times worse. Anyway, <laughs> this is why uh, I definitely enjoy just playing scrims over rank a lot of the time, but cause you definitely don't deal with this kind of thing in, in scrims. Not that I care too much, because it seems like there's someone just, just trolling, but I'm sure some people would really, really, really bother them, so it's unfair when you're just trying to practice and play. But I understand that there are going to be trolls on the internet, people that say dumb stuff. I've done this for long enough to know that. It's kind of a good thing, I think, to show you guys that, you know. Even someone that's, I've played this thing, this game for what, eight years? I still experience stuff like this, so. He's blatantly trolling. 
Also probably looking for me to give him a reaction as well, or some kind of negative response back, but it's a waste of my energy. It saves, try to stay on it. Nice, it's actually it's a good idea. I just played it around him into a spot where he won't get a I think really tough for me to deal with. Save. Try to bump. Mission follow. Try. Click this. Go to the ground. Ah, the touch would have been super good that I was going for. But it's really hard to get it. Timing. Good attempt. All right. Interesting game. We'll play one more. <laughs> I'll play one more. But I actually, like, I don't. I hope it doesn't encourage anyone to talk like this. But definitely do not say the things this guy is saying to anybody. Um, I think it's a good thing for you guys to see that people are dumb like this to me as well. It's, it's very very rare. It honestly happens more often when I'm like streaming. It's probably why I haven't streamed as much. Um. If you guys used to watching me on Twitch and stuff, when I used to stream, like the comments were really annoying in, in a sense of like, you would get people like this that are just, they live their life and they play games just to troll people, just to like talk in a way that's, you're trying to like irritate people basically. So when I stream, it would be like that, like almost every day. And I would get like probably like a few hundred people. Cause I have, like, I had like five, 6,000 viewers all the time. So I'd probably get a few hundred people a day come in and say something dumb. And then over time, like, you don't care about it, but it does definitely affect you subconsciously. Even even though you don't care about it, you see enough negative stuff, your brain starts to get affected by it a little bit. Um, that's why I've taken a little bit of a break from streaming. But, like, I'm very used to this kind of thing in a sense of, like, which is bad. It's bad to say that. And at a very young age, I was exposed to uh, uh, people talking that way. And, like, really putting you under the microscope when you're one of the best players in the game. And, you know, you beat, you beat it like it would happen when I played g2 for example in the past like um and even our fans even some of our fans do it and that's the problem with the internet you can't control that no one told them to do that i want you guys to spread as much positivity as much love as possible man like when my team everyone's gonna struggle at some point my team was like energy was the best team in the world for probably a while like i don't know a year and a half two years when i was on it and you know we're having a little rough patch right now people are gonna like give us a little bit of shit for it same, same thing happened when I was on C9. C9 was, was up there, best teams in the world, like top three team in the world for, I don't know, the entire time I was on the team probably until the very end and a little like rough patches here and there in the middle. But like throughout that time, there's going to be times where there's trolls get to you. And, and that's what I'm saying. Like the, the whole the whole community needs to be better because it, like, it really does affect the players. There was, there was periods throughout that, um, even like recently, where I've thought about retiring because like the mental aspect, like I just, I would just rather just stream and just play casually. Right. Cause like the mental aspect is a hard thing to deal with. And, and I'm, I'm experienced at dealing with that. Cause I've done it longer than most of these kids. We have to understand guys like it, like don't, don't do it to me. Cause I'm experienced in dealing with it, but I'm saying like, do not like, please, whatever you do, do not do it to these, these young kids that are starting to play this game. Uh, like Daniel's a good example, kids young, like 15, 16. And I'm sure, he probably doesn't care that much, but like without realizing it, th that's like the years where your brain is developing and you're trying to learn things and you're trying to become an adult and you know, you're trying to be the best person you can be and, and mature into a good person, right? You don't want to fill that kid's head with negativity and you, you don't want to just make them feel like, um, you know, the world's against them already, right? So that's something that I had to deal with growing up. I had to find my own way to deal with that. And that started this game when I was 14 and I was at the top of it very, very quickly. When I was like 15 and beyond, I was at the top of it. I'm 22 now. So that's a, that's a tough thing. And I, I don't want other kids to deal with that. It's, it's a really mentally hard thing and you have to be kind to yourself throughout that period of time, right? So realize that, like, it seems like BDS are struggling right now. We're struggling right now, finding ways around it. We're not even doing bad. We're, we're literally sixth in NA. We're, we're one spot off of making the major. We're still probably within more land. We're good land players, like, right? And people are still, they're gonna be, they're gonna be rude and they're trying to take you down and, and make you feel bad, right? So. You gotta find the ways around that, but I, I just want to say I'm using this as a as a good time to tell you guys like just be kind to each other and uh, you know treat each other well. There's no point of spreading negativity and there's no point of 
putting a putting teams down it doesn't matter what team it is it doesn't matter if if you think there's a bad relationship with one of our players with their team like it doesn't matter if we beat them i don't i don't want to see any negativity toward them i don't want to see you be like oh you guys they suck like energy destroyed whatever like i don't care what the situation is like just just be nicer to the other team you nice to everybody man like there's no point of, of spreading that negativity and uh, i feel really bad for what's happening with bds right now like they just played the first eu regional didn't do well everyone's saying oh they need a roster change this guy suck like they're, they're washed already the world championship got to their head whatever like it's a hard game man the game's hard it's very dynamic it's very difficult and there's so many so many different um things that change throughout the throughout the months in this game and you got to find ways to adapt to that we're all trying our best man that's all you can do and uh i'm very hopeful for my team personally and even if we do badly man like i i have the most hope the most faith in us possible so it's like you you want to try not to put these players down they're trying their best and mentally it's a, it's a tough thing and when, when you're at the top like we've been and you fall a little bit you know you need to you need to have that little bit of extra help from the fans to help you out right so um just a just a bit of advice for you guys to, to every player not not myself personally like i said i've dealt with negativity a lot in my career um just make sure you're nice to as many players as possible and uh yeah that's that's all i have to say anyway i'd like to do one more game but honestly i'm not in the the best mood to want to queue up ranked again after that um but uh but yeah i, I hope you guys enjoy have yourself a wonderful day or night and hopefully next video is a little bit more enjoyable for myself. I, I wouldn't, I don't really feel like playing. I'm not going to enjoy it. And I'm not going to enjoy it now. Kind of made me a little demotivated to queue in the ranked game. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night. Hope you learned something uh, about me and about my past. And uh, about how the game can be even for players that are at the top of the game. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Love you all. See you on the next one. Peace.